Hello and welcome back to another video on the channel everybody and first of all sorry this has been a long time since I uploaded the last video it's been about 14 days yeah it, it was really long I really got lazy I didn't do anything for YouTube just did my stuff for school and everything getting back on the YouTube grind and this is gonna be the most complete offense in man 20 it, you read that entire I did not need to repeat that anyways I'm gonna be breaking down uh, in my opinion, two of the best passing formations in the game. Two of the top three, I believe. Gun Bunch, obviously the best one. Also going to be breaking down near close. And for you guys that, that have already watched the strong close video, I'm going to elaborate a bit on that. Also a very good offense. And we're going to start with near close. And we're going to start by talking about personnel. Personnel, I would... If you want to really run, uh, go split a uh, near close heavy, um, then make sure to have a tight end apprentice. And have a slot apprentice wide receiver. Also have an escape artist quarterback. <clears throat> These are the three most important chemistries for near close. Now if I were you, then I would obviously put the tight end, the tight end spot. Put in the slot wide receiver in this spot. And make sure to have your best running back. In my, in my case, that's Perry Sanders. In here on that fullback spot. And yeah, you should be golden. We're going to start by sp running spacing. And... I'm going to start by the with the general idea of this defense. Now, the offense. The general idea is to roll out to the outside and throw a corner out. This is your base setup that you're going to use for this. Make sure to have the two wide receivers to the wide side. And most of your opponents are going to defend this by pinching the uh, their defense, using Warner. And as soon as they, or if they expect you to roll out to the right side, they're going to um, come around and use, use a rush you. I'm going to start off by not doing that and I'm going to show you how to roll out to the outside and then I will tell you what to do once your opponent has started to do that. Now, it depends on how many people you expect them to send. If you think that you're, they're only going to send five at you, double team right here and I did the mic right here. So then you see that we get the chop block and then we can roll out to the outside and throw that corner out. Now, even though that soft squad man, uh, man match right there, I'm gonna show you that even if this does this zone this zone doesn't match, you will also get that open. Once again, we're expecting them to send five. Double team ID the mic, gonna roll out to the outside, and you will see that this gets open. We can we can oftentimes rack that for a touchdown. Now, this is my play if I don't know whether they're in cover three or cover two. If I know that they're in cover two, I'm gonna audible to another play. Um, smash is going to be the play and this corner out goes a little bit deeper and the rest of the play is set up the same way on defense now they, I'm gonna send seven people if my opponent keeps sending seven people at me then I'm not gonna double team anybody because then the rush is gonna come in free what I'm going to do is I'm gonna ID the mic right here and you will see that I'm still able to get outside of the pocket and this corner out just absolutely torches cover two cover two has no chance of guarding that Man coverage and cover three will lock this down. So if you see that your opponent is catching on to um, you running that play and mans up the corner out, then you obviously want to go back to that setup right here. And in general, I would not double team unless I absolutely know that they're only going to send five or six. Five or six, that's fine. If you know that you're, if you think that they're going to send seven people, even, um, in any spot where you're gonna run the ball and you want to still pass the ball, they're probably gonna send seven people. Don't double team in that case. If you double team and they send seven people, it's an instant sack. Let me show you. Um, with my luck, they're gonna run it. The defense is gonna hinder it itself and run into each other. But I promise, or this should be a sack right here. I'm trying to chop block. Yeah, no chance. Against seven people rushing, don't double team. That's my biggest message. Now, I've shown you how to beat cover three and cover two. No, I haven't shown you that this beats cover two. Let me. Uh, cover three. Never mind then. So we're gonna audible to cover three on defense. Give you baseline. We can even pinch. Uh, set it up the same way as the cover two setup. Double team. ID the mic. So. First of all, this works. You can throw that. But those people that already know uh, how this offense works, you have noticed that um, 
this is a cover 3 beater so cover 3 once again if I run it like this and don't motion the streak out then you will see that I can throw this for a touchdown now Hopkins is terribly slow if I motion if I are uh, audible no if I substitute the entire kill on that spot um, then that is a one play touchdown you see the general idea is pretty common. It works in many formations, such as Gun Punch. Also, side of the tight end also has cover three videos that work like this. You know that this concept beats cover three. I'm not going to show it. Another concept that beats cover three is this uh, post play. Put Kittle on that corner route, which we can because we have tight end apprentice on him. Remember, and if you want to run a cover uh, three beater, you will need to um, roll out to the side of the post route. So we're gonna double team him, right? Or uh, I guess reset. Um, everything is reset. Double team right here. Um, I did the mic right here. Just try to get outside of the pocket. That's the biggest thing. And you will see that this is wide as open. That is an another way of beating cover three. I've also beaten cover two with this. I'm not sure if it's gonna work exactly, but I'll try. I'm oh, sorry, I got audible to post track. Uh, I did the mic right here. This has worked for me. It's not a guarantee, but if you see that it's open, yeah, it's, it's not open at all. I, I've gotten a cover three one play, uh, cover two one play touchdown like that before, because the corner out sort of drags out or forces the deep half to pay attention to it. It has worked for me in the past. It's I won't run it. I won't depend on it. But if you see that it's open, you can throw it. In that case, it was not open at all. Now, um, that's enough for post drag in the middle of the field. If I were you, I would also pay attention to this um, on the goal line. If you want to pass the ball or in the red zone, maybe. Let, let's, let's just say that. Let's say in the red zone. <clears throat> if you want to pass the ball in the red zone, you're going to audible to post drag. Flat Hopkins, put Thomas on the post, put Kill on the out route or the flat route, either one works. Oops. And put Carson on a wheel route. Then snap the ball or motion snap just like that. And that post route uh, didn't get open at all. Sorry, that did that was not that was not a good way of showing it. <clears throat> Let's try that again then. So post track, flat, wheel. Or maybe out route. Probably smart route. Yeah, smart route Thomas too. So that the post is a little bit shorter. Now, I, in that case, I could throw the wheel route. Damn. With a low pass, obviously. And then if that gets covered by the user. Go back to defend. Um, Go back to throw the post. Yeah. So, right there. Or in that case, you could just throw it. Yeah, anyways, you guys know that this is a very good uh, setup. It is very similar to a setup in Gun Bunch, uh, Mesh Post, with the flat route, then the wheel route behind it, and the post. Similar setup. This works uh, quite well in the red zone. I don't know. Maybe better show, to show it off against cover three because more people run cover three on the uh, in the red zone. So just like that. Right here, I can throw that for a touchdown. Or if that gets usered, obviously hit the post. I was on the linebacker right there. I'm sorry. I'll try that again. Um, post drag. Uh -huh. And go ahead. Snap this ball. And you see right there. It's a tiny window. He got bumped right there. If he doesn't get bumped, that window is way more open. Just know that you can throw that. There is a way of scoring in the red zone out of this formation. That is the way. Um, yeah. Let's see if there's any other things that I need to cover. Basically, the dif most difficult thing about this is figuring out a way um, to get outside of the pocket. And yeah, we need to talk about what to do if your opponent keeps you in the pocket. If I were you, I would always expect uh, your opponent to not be able to know how to keep you in the pocket but if you roll out to the right and he starts user rushing you and you just have no time in the pocket or you have no time to get the pass off at all then i would figure out a way to pass from inside the pocket one of those ways is with double posts from tight end oops and 
Oops, uh, tight end and receiver. Hopkins on an out route maybe right here. Put a hitch or maybe two hitches if you want to do that. Uh, and then both both posts should be open. So he's gonna have to, he's gonna have to or you're gonna have to stay in the pocket and figure out a way to, to pass from the pocket. Basically is what I'm saying. That was a really complex complex way of saying that. You get the idea. The main idea is to run concepts that also work in the pocket. So just like that. In that case, throw the wheel route easy. Turn up for a couple of yards. If you use the wheel route, throw the post. I'm sorry, I'm going over this quickly. I should probably go a little bit slower. Um, these understand understand informations are great for those uh, posts, post and wheel combos. You will see that I can throw that right there. If, you can, if I'm able to roll out to the side of the uh, post, basically, what is my opponent gonna cover? As soon as I see him dropping back to co uh, cover the post route, like right there, okay, he covers the post route, bam, hitting the wheel route, very easy, turning it upfield, getting a couple of nice extra yards. Carson's gonna fall forward because he's a beast. So, that is how you preach from the pocket. Let's see if there's any other things that I want. Okay, let's talk about Texas. Texas has this very good corner route also. Uh, that's going to beat cover 2. Just another way of beating cover 2. Uh, very effective. We'll see. He gets outside of the pocket. Oops. <laughs> Just accidentally pressed the uh, PS4 button. Yeah. Stiff arm. Oh. Linebacker is going to attack me because I can't stiff arm with a wide receiver. Should have known that. Um, besides that. Obviously, run the ball. If you have a right-handed quarterback, hand the ball off to the right. If you have a left-handed quarterback, hand the ball off to the left because then you get faster animations. That's pretty much all you need to know for the run. You don't need to motion receivers. If at all, I would motion wide receivers to the outside to make your opponent think that it's going to be a pass and then run the ball, things of that nature. This run pretty much works uh, very well. There are, there are obviously defenses that can stop it, but the thing is that it's very hard to stop the run consistently out of this and also stop the pass. If I were you, I would be about 50-50 running the ball, passing the ball. Of course, if your opponent knows how to run the ball, then obviously make it a little more 80-20 passing-wise. And if your opponent doesn't know how to stop the run, then make it 80-20 um, running the ball. Play off your opponent's weaknesses. If they can't stop the run, Keep running the ball. Keep forcing the issue. Um, because then they're going to overcommit. And then and then you can hit them with the great passing plays out of this. Ooh, almost got screened that. Thomas is going to take this for six. Ooh. Give me your boy. Anyways, that's it for um, near close flex. Very good formation. If I were you, I would watch... <clears throat> I would watch Throne and Chaos. They run this formation. They're gonna put up an ebook on hot rod tips. If you're a member over there, go watch them. Really good players. They're gonna show you how to run this offense in greater detail. Watch their streams, watch their videos. Have fun with near close flex. Very good. We're not gonna go into gun punch. Now, since I already talked about there being a special personnel, quote unquote special, uh, for close flex, there's also one that I would recommend you to go with for gun punch now if you wanna uh invest in a tight end and have a tight end uh, with abilities out there on the field that's fine that works for gun punch as well if i were you though i would invest in two wide receivers or one running back well so basically one quarterback and two wide receivers or one quarterback one wide receiver and one um running back now where do you want uh, your receivers to be at you want a slot apprentice in this spot right here with post flag elite if possible and you want to have a very quick receiver with streak specialist um cross specialist things of that nature in that spot or if you want to go with the tight end uh then you can go um right here yeah the most important receiver though is this guy right here this guy needs to have a post flag elite and uh slot apprentice now let's talk about the setups why is he reposted or audibles first? Why is he reposted deep corner verticals and mesh posts? You notice that there's not a running audible because we are not planning on running the ball ever. They run out of this. The um, halfback sweep got patched. It's not as good anymore. Yeah, that's that's the reason why. 
we're gonna go against big down wolf for six because that is the defense that most people run against this now we're gonna talk about blocking first it depends on which defense you're facing if you're facing a look that's like this you're almost you're 99.9 percent .9 of the time gonna get um seven people blitzed at you if you know that you can put your tight end on the delay fade slide the line to the right so that it looks like this and id the mic right here if i now hike the ball get a chop block i can playmaker him up and then we can get going you see that it's all about getting outside of the pocket with this offense now what happens if my opponent uh, runs the cover to sync blitz that works like this or that looks like this you're gonna know which side of the um formation the qu cornerback is going to come from based on the linebacker that is backed up right there you see that the linebacker on the left is backed up the cornerback on the left is coming because that is how, to, how you set up the blitz that's how you know where they're coming from how do you block the blitz and still get outside of the pocket you double team right here you can also id the mic on the cornerback it's not necessary though and i would recommend you to not id the mic on the outside cornerback anyways gonna hike the ball gonna get the chop block and you see that we can throw that crossing route very easily now again this is not really a focus but well, this the focus is not on uh the route combos right now i'm just trying to explain to you how to get outside of the pocket or how to do pass protection now these are basically the two most generic things that you're gonna face. This splits right here and the seven DB team to bus. Double team right here and you should be golden. Ideal. Throw this ball, get a completion. Very good. Now let's talk about setups to this play. That's already the first setup. Streak, Jones, Kittle on the delay fade. Do the uh, pass protection depending on what you're facing. We're just gonna send uh, seven people at us and yeah, gonna get the protection down. Make sure to have a playmaker on that R1 spot. So we're gonna review again. On that, uh, on number 13 spot, uh, Th Michael Thomas, we need what, a slot apprentice, post flag elite, and playmaker. Those are the three most important camps. We need those because basically, what uh, you can do if you have playmaker uh, on that middle receiver you will be able to playmaker up right here um, up the middle of the field making your opponent have to cover another thing so you will be able to make a read between the playmaker and the crossing rod now same works right here I'm gonna set this up like this Ooh, playmaker throw the crossing route now the crossing route beats man coverage that's also a very good thing to know especially if you have a uh, cross specialist out there now <coughs> excuse me just eight <clears throat> so you're gonna slant thomas for the second setup kill on the delay fit again again do the protection depending on what you see and then we're gonna motion snap thomas across snap the ball and make the read depending on what your, what your opponent's user is covering. If he covers the cross, crossing route, obviously throw the slant. If he covers the slant, throw the crossing route. Very important right here. Be disciplined. Be ready to take the slant. That's probably going to be the thing that your opponent is going to give you more likely. Be ready to throw that. As soon as you see your opponent's user darting back to the post route, you throw that. You throw that. You throw that. You get sticky a little bit. Like I can't get a touchdown. But don't force the crossing route. If your opponent's user is uh, stuck between two routes, you have to capitalize. Like that is a very good spot to pick your opponent off and really make it hard for him to use it. Make the correct read. Now that's enough for wide receiver post. Let's talk about deep corner. All of these plays, by the way, you want to run with the gun bunch to the wide side. First setup for deep corner is this setup right here. Street uh, max protect. Put Kittle on the delay fade. Thomas on the corner route. He's a slot apprentice. Remember, we can put him on a sharper corner route that also beats man coverage. And Hopkins on the streak. Now, you can do two things. I'm going to run this against the cover three first. You can motion Hopkins out like that. Or you can motion snap. Doesn't really matter. And then you can 
yeah kill just can't block at all that's so weird why can't kill block um anyways deep corner remember this setup cover two on defense just like that and right there we can throw that corner out. it gets open against pretty much anything if you can roll out to the right if not uh, you're kind of out of luck you're gonna have to throw the in route that's actually the second read on the play either corner route or in route that's those are the two, the two most important things cover three again let's just pretend that the opponent's user is going out there to the corner route got to see corner route himself you can throw that in route now let's pretend a lot of pretending right here because it's tough to guard all these things uh on the same play let's pretend that um the corner route and the in route are both covered for some reason i don't know they just get covered in that case if you roll out right here you can still press x to send your tight end up the field and throw him the ball yeah easy 10 yards so the corner route to the in route and if neither of those of those two things are open then hit the delay fade now that's only the first set of, of this so um there is also a way to beat cover three out of this just like we did out of uh, new close streak corner out, don't motion the streak out this time that's the only difference and you will have a great time bombing cover three for a one play touchdown there's no way to defend that pretty much any cover three actually there is um if your opponent's user I see I see your opponent's user way too often. Your opponent puts a deep half out there and you try to beat him with a one play touchdown. You will not succeed. Yeah. That's the only thing you have to watch out for. Most people don't do that though, so be ready to throw that cover three beater. And while we're on the topic of, of cover three beaters, I'm sorry I have to throw this in. This um why is he repost setup? Um, actually also beats cover three corner out on, corner out on Thomas instead of him being on a drag or a slant corner out delay fade on Kittle because we always want to have uh, that option of sending Kittle out on the delay fade and now if we run this play like this we can even motion in the post uh, from left uh, from the left side now we can getting that ball there the protection is gonna be the toughest thing because yeah, you need a lot of time to get these cover three meters. So, one more time. This time, I'm even gonna motion in the post. That's also a thing that you can do. So, right there, get the protection and absolutely launch that ball. <clears throat> Julio Jones is also just low. Um, I think all of my players on defense, um, this 49 ers lineup, I modified them so that they have 99 speed and 99 zone. So, just know that. <clears throat> Now that is uh, the last cover three beater of our receiver post. Let's talk about another uh, cover three beater out of deep corner. Put Julio Jones on a comeback route and whatever you want to do. I would always put the um, put kill on a delay fade. And if I were you, then I would just put Thomas on a slant. Motion snap him across the formation. Just like that. Wait, wait, wait. And launch it. Just absolutely launch it for a one-play touchdown. Again, these people on defense are really fast, but you see that the concepts are working. That is a one-play touchdown. Deep corner, very good play. You can also something that is very powerful against a heavy blitz. I guess. And what do we do? We slide that way. I did the mic right here. You can also do a little motion snap right here, and then throw that post with an inside pass lead. Even better if you don't motion snap, but I just want to show you that even this way it gets open. Uh, deep corner. Max protect. Tag. Oops. I'm able to quick throw that post. Possession catch it. And it's a very easy completion. Especially if you have post flag elite there. That's pretty much 100% of the time a catch. <clears throat> now, let's keep moving forward. Those are all the setups for deep corner. Let's talk about verticals here. Verticals, yeah, it's it's really good. In order to run verticals though, we'll need to come out with the um, gun punch side to the short side. So, I'm going to call verticals. When the left hash mark, meaning that we want to come out with the uh, gun punch to the left. Verticals, just like that. And on defense, we're going to call Big Nick Lobo G cover 3. Why not? We're going to put Julio Jones on a flat. 
flip the play. Now, um, we're gonna do one of two things. If we expect our opponent to be in a cover three, um, we can. What can we do? Uh, we can put Thomas on a post, and we can put uh, Hopkins on a flat. And depending, and then we can. Sorry, gotta put classes out there. This is setup. This is first setup, right here. We can then throw that right in that window. Right there, that was actually a very slow pass. I don't know why that wasn't in the air for that long. Or another thing that we can do, and no, and I want to show you the other read on that play. If you run that setup, if our opponent's user guards the wheel route, then we can fit in that post route right there on the sideline. That is a very, very consistent throw. Or if we expect our opponent to be in a cover two, this is even better. We can post route on uh, Thomas, motion out Hopkins, just like that, or and put the tight end on an out route. Forgot to mention that. We can then hit that for a huge completion against cover two. Now, that is of course not the only read on this play because we still can throw that backside. Um, backside, we can still throw that post route. So that's. Our opponent's user is covering the wheel routes. We can still throw that pass wide open. That is very, very good against cover two. Now, this play also is an absolute money play in the red zone. It, it is really good. I would throw that between the 20 and 10 yard line. And a lot of the times, if I run that play against a cover three or a cover four, it is a touchdown. So, really, setup doesn't really matter. We just need the wheel route on Jones. If I were you, I would put Hopkins on a drag, just like that. Why is this not working? Why is this not working? Let's try it again. Are we on it? We're, we should be coming out in the cover three. Yes, we are. Okay. So, here we are. So now this is working. You will see that we can th quick throw this. In the red zone this used to work last year pretty much everywhere on the field this year it only works um, in the red zone and another thing that you can do uh, same idea is put is come out with the bunch to the short side of the field again Hopkins uh, pu put Hopkins on the hitch and then just if the streak route or the wheel route gets covered you can then still throw that. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Let, let's just cut that. That's not that's not a good setup. Sorry for wasting your time. That's not something I would do. But yeah, this this works. Um, the the wheel rod though in the red zone is absolutely deadly. If your opponent presses a cover three or a cover four, you can throw the wheel rod. That's important to know. You cannot throw the wheel rod against cover uh, two, and you cannot throw the wheel rod against cover three or cover four pressed. Yeah, just FYI. Now, one last thing that I want to show you guys is how to pick up or how to deal, how to deal with the heavy bits. Once again, we're coming out in verticals and coming out with the um, gun bunch to the short side. Jones on that same flat route again. Um, you want to have like I don't put I want to have Hopkins uh, with a route chemistry slot apprentice. And you want to have Thomas, on, and you want to put Thomas on a streak now. Let's say uh, that they're sending everybody. And usually they're not sending a man blitz, they're adjusting behind the play. Uh, maybe something like that. Oops. Yes, something like that. Seems. Uh, seems fine. Imagine Hopkins to be on that uh, slot apprentice post. If we now run the play like this, the first read is the flat route. We can throw the flat route just like that. Now, how would your opponent guard against the flat route? He would put a hard flat there. So, set up once again. Flat route flip play. Put Hopkins on the post. Thomas on the streak. He's on the in route right there, but he's supposed to be on the post. 
If he now is in a hard flat and we read that, we can then throw that streak for one play touchdown. So that is also a very nice thing that you can do out of pretty much any play. I just always do it out of uh, verticals. I don't know why. That is a very good way of beating the bits. If, this, if the flat route is covered and your opponent uses or is, the streak is guarded, then you can still look to hit the post route from Hopkins. So that is how to deal with uh, one way to deal with the blitz. Let's talk about mesh post. Mesh post for this play, you also want to come out with the gun bunch to the short side. Put Jones on that flat route again and flip the play. That way, the flat route stays on the field. And the first setup is gonna be uh, kill on the delay fade, Tom's on his zig, Hopkins motion snap to the outside. You can throw that wheel route right there, very tight window. Because curve flats really enough play this really well uh cloud flats are not gonna play this well at all so dead i didn't i didn't uh push post whatever so against cloud flats on the defense you will see that i can throw that ball with a low pass get some rack yardage even very easily so that has to be user guarded pretty much uh under any circumstance one way to guard this, however, and I don't want to uh, leave you in the dark about this, is, oops, which post right there, uh, is to put a vert hook out there. That can sometimes play it. It's not going to play it all the time, but it can play it right there. It didn't. Sometimes it will, though. So be ready for it. A zone to guard that. Sometimes, not very often, but it can be played. Don't want to put out, put out any fake news. If that uh, wheel route is covered, that should always be the first read. Um, if the wheel route is covered, you can then uh, move on to your second read, which is this sig route. I threw it a little bit too late there. That should have been a pick six. Wow. Um, wheel route, no, a zig route or post route. That's then going to be the second read. In general, a lot of people like to bait to the wheel route and then go back to the post route. So don't make the read within the first seconds uh, within the first second of the play always read the user and as soon as you see them going back to the post route throw that wheel route very easily nice window to throw it that is the first setup the second setup it's along the same lines flat route and then flip the play <sighs> once again i in in the wrong play mesh post just like that Put uh, Thomas on his slant, just like that. Same motion snap uh, as the play wide receiver post, and then you can hit that post route. That is a way to throw it. It is a five out play. It is very good against coverage. Against the blitz, however, it is not that great. Just know that against somebody who's playing a lot of coverage, this is a very good play because it is hard to guard everything. You can throw the wheel route right there. You can throw the uh, slant right there. You could have thrown the tight end flat earlier, and never mind. And don't forget, you still have the post. This is a very tough play to guard. Just as it is. Very good stuff. I feel like I'm praising this play a lot, but it just is that good. Five out play. Ah, uh, you know what? Let's just throw the tight end for a couple of yards. Why not? Also, this play is very good in in the red zones. You see. We got some ways to score in the red zone as well, which is tough for passers. Let's say right here. Uh, the wheel route gets open against pretty much anything. So. Okay. Um, one way to run this setup would be with a hitch. Oops. Hitch. First. First thing you should always try to do is to throw a wheel rod. I got shattered right there. Very unfortunate. So, let's run the play. Wheel rod is going to get up in the back of the end zone against pretty much any coverage. Like, I've thrown this against so many coverages. It's honestly stupid. Such a nice throw. In the case that that gets covered, you can look to hit the post route. How do you hit the post route? Um, or where can, where can you hit that? Not right there. You should I should have smart routed. Okay, I'm making a lot of mistakes right now. Um, 
Yeah. Smart about the post route. Most of the times, your opponent is going to drag down the safety, just like that, in the box. Um, and then you will see that I can throw this ball. <laughs> Why can't I throw that ball? Trust me, I've thrown that ball a lot, uh, lot online. Just know that it is there, even if I don't show it off. Um, you can tune into my streams, and you will see me throw that post quite often. So, one more time, let's try it. Uh, let's try it. Let's have fun. And he gets bumped to next week. Yeah, if he doesn't get bumped, uh, that works. But always remember to ha you have the you have to the wheel route and you have the hitch. This is not working. I was supposed to also one thing that you, I like to do in the red zone. It's just hit a streak up there. Uh, in cover three, there is a nice uh, soft spot. If you have a flat route from tight end or inside wide receiver and you have a streak coming in behind it, the outside third is going to pay attention to the flat route for a second. You'll see that right here. And then I can throw the post. Uh, the streak, right, I meant. Yeah. That is also a way to score in the red zone. Just be aware of your opponent using that. These are ways to score in the red zone. It's pretty tough, though. If I were you, I would just go into uh, close flex and run the ball in the red zone. Mesh post, that truly is it. You can uh, if you can obviously do the same thing uh, that you did with... What's his face? Uh, that you did with uh, verticals against the blitz. In this play, you actually have a stock corner out. Alright, playmaker up. Get sticky a little bit. Not a lot, not too much, not too much. Um, but yeah, that is it for wide receiver post. Um, not wide receiver post, mesh post. Uh, let's talk about what should we talk about? Let's talk about stick. Yeah, I like stick. Uh, sort of pause, sort of pause. Um, the good thing about uh, this play is the corner out by Hopkins. If I motion it out like that against the cover three, that is a very, very nice completion. This is also good against cover three because if I streak Thomas. And do the same motion snap, just like that. Um, that is a cover three beater. Yeah. Because, uh, once again, Thomas is too slow. Tyreek Hill right there, and you're going to be good. But you see that the concept works. Um, if your opponent inverts and the corner is not open, put an in route on Julio Jones' backside so you can throw that. But other than that, this is a very good play against cover three. I'm gonna come out uh, with this play flipped with the bunch to the short side because that is important for the next setup. So here we go. Flip, stick, call that against being Glover G. Hitch Jones. Put Thomas on a, a post route. And now if I motion out right there and it's covered by the user, I can still throw that post route. That gets open against any coverage, cover 2, cover 3, cover 4. Any coverage, even cover 4 match, this is going to get open. Once again, put a hitch on Julio Jones, then flip the play, just like that. And you can obviously still hit the corner out on Hopkins. But the nice little wrinkle about that play is obviously that post drop. Yeah, very nice. Get it in front of the zone, uh, get that catch animation, and it's pretty much a guaranteed completion. Um, you can also do this with a flat. I just like hitch better. Both of them work uh, j about just as well. I feel like the hitch uh, works a little bit better. So that's why I use it. But it's just a feeling. It's not really evidence based. It's just, I just feel like it's better. So I would recommend you to do it with a hitch. That corner is great though. So always use that corner. Now, let's talk about the next play. And we're flying through this. It's a lot of lab work, y'all. And also a lot of watching the Madden Classic. Uh, not Madden Classic. Um, Madden Bowl. Yeah, sorry. I talked about that. Mesh, mesh spot is... It's okay. It's pretty similar to Mesh Post. So I don't feel like I need to get into it. Corner Strike. Um, I just want to show this. This is a great cover 2 beater. But not really amazing for anything else. So, something like that. Right there. Mm, maybe a little bit of a better swerve than that touchdown. But you see, 
that this works. The streak on the uh, middle wide receiver in the bunch formation and in route on the back side wide receiver just to have it checked out. That corner out though, man, that's money against cover two. Not against cover three, not against man, but against cover two. <clears throat> yeah, that's that's all I wanted to show off for uh, corner strike. Let's see if there is anything that I missed because they very very well might be something that I missed. Uh, is deep attack worth showing? I don't think so. Actually, it is, and for a very specific reason. Come out with the bunch to the short side again. Deep attack, just like that. You want to put Julio Jones on a post route if you can. Ah, it's not letting me do it. Uh, anyways, you want to put Julio Jones on a slot apprentice post route, then flip the play. Streak Thomas, put Hopkins on a drag, Kittle on the delay fade, double team because we want to have uh, a double team with the tight end. Hopkins motion him out, and then you have a, a similar concept um, as, uh, what's it called, uh, as Pat Sale. So I gotta put in a um, slot apprentice wide receiver really quick because i want to show this off and yeah i need that watch the short tab once again put Thielen on the post then flip the play so the post still stays on the play just like that that post drop beats both pretty much every zone and every man coverage has to get user if it doesn't get user it is a very, very nice throw. Yes, that is pretty much all that I wanted to show off for that play because, I mean, you can run a very similar play um, to something like that would work. It's just that that post route is not really amazing. Yes, no, not. It's not great. It can work, but I don't, I don't know. I just, I just feel weird throwing that post route. So if I were you, Thielen, Zach, on the post route, and then have fun. Yes. Really nice and easy. Very, very good stuff. I think that's about it for Gun Bunch. We're now going to get into Strong Close, which is sort of like another way of running the ball out of this from, out of this playbook. And it is a very good audible uh, for your close flex. So if you feel like you're getting bagged in your close flex, audible, come out in near close flex and then audible to Strong Close. You should be golden. That's going to be up next. To end the video off, I'm going to give you guys a complete rundown of the formation strong close. Now we're talking about personnel first again like we did about uh, like we did for close flex and the gun bunch. We want to have the same personnel for this formation as we want to have for close flex because we're going to audible in between those. Now, what what do we mean? What do we mean by that? We want to have a tight end apprentice right here. We want to have a hot route master, if possible, escape artist quarterback. Golden ticket quarterbacks are going to get cheaper. Still going to be ab about 2 million coins though, so it's going to be really expensive. It's worth it though. Quarterbacks are the only position it's worth it though. It's worth it in my opinion for the golden tickets. Get one of those guys. And if you can't afford a hot route master plus escape artist quarterback, then make sure to have a slot apprentice right here. Now, we're going to start with the most important play, which is going to be wide receiver out. Wide receiver out, we're going to go against Nick Lover G, because that is, in general, the defense a lot of people try to use against this. Or at least that I try to use against this. And we want to have um, the tight end, or the strong side, so the wide side for this play. Setup is hit shot Hopkins, block McCaffrey, motion Carson to the outside. Then we can leave Thomas on the curve, or what we can do is we can put Thomas on the corner route uh, and chop block so that we can get to the right. Okay, so um, show this against cover to the post route from Kittle is going to get open against everything. And then you can try to hit, fit that in. Actually, you can't. So my bad, you can't fit that in. Against cover two, then uh, you're going to run that setup just like that. Right here. The first read on the play would be uh, the R1 route, but uh, you're not going to be able to throw that against the cover two. You will have to move on to either the post or the curl route, whichever one is open. Now, 
if we switch to a cover three, just like that, uh, and we run the same setup against the cover three, actually not the same setup because I wouldn't recommend you to run the same setup. Chris Carson is going to be open in the flat for a couple of yards. Actually, he's not going to be open. Never mind that. He's, he's usually going to be open. Um, that is weird, but that's not working. Um, Carson to the outside. Boom. That's the setup. Chop block that way because now against the cover three, we will be able to throw that corner out right there. Ooh, we stepped out of bounds there. But anyways, against the cover three, we can throw that and don't forget that even though this is a cover three, uh, we will still be able to throw the post route. So gonna get the protection down, and that is open. But we get a terrible animation along the sideline. Anyways, you see that he was open. That you see that he was open. That was the base play. Of course, you can also hit the curl route if your opponent chases the post route. You can hit the curl. Now, I wanna now talk about a way to beat cover two because that beats pretty much any coverage. And I wanna talk about a way that absolutely burns. Cover two for one play touchdown a lot of the times. Wide trailer is going to be the play. We're going to put Kittle on the post. We're going to block Carson. We're going to leave Thomas on his slant. Motion across. And now you will see how we can throw this corner out uh, for a one play touchdown. Right there. 99 speed, remember. Very good stuff. You see that he's getting wide open. I'm going to run this one more time. Post on the tight end. Just have another read up there if your opponent chases that. You can then move on to the post right there absolutely wide open that tortures cover two now if that gets manned up i don't actually know if it, if it beats man coverage my guess would be that it doesn't if it gets manned up that's probably going to be the first adjustment if the first adjustment that people are going to make so we will see yeah, this does not get open against main coverage. But then we have the post. And we can stay in the pocket if we want to. And still throw that slant. So I, I want to see if I can stay in the pocket and fit that in. I can. Perfect. One play touchdown. Really easy. That is my way to beat cover two out of this. And now I'm not going to talk about another really good play out of this formation. You want to put Kittle on the delay fit, block Christian McCaffrey, motion out Carson, and put him on a slant. Now we're going to chop black to the side of the crossing route, and we will be able to throw that crossing route against pretty much any coverage, because that, it gets, it gets open against pretty much any coverage. I don't know what to tell you. I really like this crossing route. It is really good. You can run it, I think, from, I believe, from both hashes. Oops. So... Double team right here. And you will see that again. We are going to get open against a cover 2. I want to show this against a cover 3. Next. Just to, just for you to see that this gets open against any coverage she has. I feel like I keep repeating myself. It's been a long video. Okay, okay guys. It's been, it's been really long. Um, P deep cross is play. Really easy. Set it up. Double team. Roll out. Actually, if I were you, you see that it does get open. If I were you, I would run this with the strong sides of the short side, like that. 